Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and happy Independence Day if you are American and celebrate that sort of thing. My deepest sympathies if you, like me, have two cats who are just going to be spending the evening hiding under the bed. But it is day four of Camp NaNoWriMo and I am headed back to the coffee shop which is thankfully open today. I don't know what I was gonna do if it ended up being closed, but thankfully it's not. So I am going to head there now and get some writing done. The scene that I'm gonna be working on today is just a continuation of the scene yesterday. So it is the consummation scene of the marriage between the two main characters. And you know, I'm in the mood for writing some smut, so let's write some smut. It's actually not morning anymore. So last night was my roommate's little birthday shindig and there were a couple beers had. I didn't stay out incredibly late, but when my alarm went off this morning at nine, I was just like, no, fuck that. <laughs> and I didn't want to run into the issue that I've been running into at the coffee shop where I go and there's just no seating. And I mean, I've got sunscreen. It's very hot right now, but I don't really care. So I'm headed there now, it's about noon. I will probably end up staying there until they close because I think they close early today, but uh, we shall see how much work I get done today. I think it'll go pretty quickly just because I do like writing smut and that is all that I plan on writing today. I think I will get the majority of the scene done, but I don't think I'll finish it. So let's head there now and see how much work I can get done for however long I stay there. And we are back from the coffee shop. Apologies for our sound quality. If it's really bad right now, it is very windy. Yeah, I just got finished. It is a little after two o'clock, so I was there for about an hour and a half, and I got 1,894 words written, which is insane. I hadn't planned on writing that much when I went there, but I really, really wanted to get the scene done, and that was just what it required. I got to the 1612, which wouldn't be like the normal stopping point for the day. And I was almost done with the scene, so I was like, you know what? I might as well just finish it. I might as well just get it done. So I stayed there a few more minutes and I got it done. And it felt really good. That's kind of the thing is whenever I'm writing smut, usually the first draft is pretty damn close to the final draft. And that was how this scene felt like nothing that I wrote today felt like it needed severe editing. It felt very polished and I'm happy about that. I think one thing to remember when writing a scene like this, when writing, you know, something that's very intimate and explicit is to not be afraid of using certain terms. One thing that drives me crazy whenever I'm reading romance is when they use like these made up words or like very childish words for body parts and things. And it's like, you know what? Sometimes you just need to write the word cock and be okay with it. <laughs> but yeah, if I were to think about my biggest piece of advice for anyone going into writing a scene like this, just write the fucking word. <laughs> but yeah, this was a very explicit scene between these two characters. Even though this isn't a romance novel, I think there's something to be said for writing explicit scenes like this. Like in certain circumstances, especially when the romance between the two characters has been built up so much, it can be kind of a rewarding thing for the reader. So my cousin just invited me to come over for 4th of July festivities. So this video probably isn't going to come out until tomorrow. I hope everybody had a fun and safe Independence Day, and I hope nobody's pets were too traumatized, like mine will probably be. But that is it for me for the fourth day of Camp NaNoWriMo. I hope you guys got some good words down. Let me know how you're progressing in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Good morning everyone and welcome to another video. I hope you all had a safe and happy Independence Day for those who celebrate. It is day five of Camp NaNoWriMo and I'm kind of freaking the fuck out. So yesterday I finished the smut scene, the sex scene between the two main characters, which is the midpoint of the book. And now I just have to write the rest of the book. I'm really nervous. I have no idea what I'm gonna write today. I didn't have time last night to plan anything because, you know, I was at 4th of July celebrations. But yeah, I'm kind of just picking my brain, thinking what am I going to do once I get to the coffee shop? And I have not answered that question yet. So the point that I'm at in the book is the midpoint. 
and pretty much from here on out it's all like very heavy political plots and it's all like actiony kind of stuff there was a lot of action in the beginning because the two characters participate in this like gladiatorial like tournament but it's a different kind of action going forward because it's all to do with the political plot and that's intimidating to write i haven't done a whole lot of planning for that yet and so it's very tempting to just go back and rewrite everything that I've written previously, just because I'm so intimidated of writing what comes next in the second half of the book. But I feel like that's also what, you know, NaNoWriMo and Camp NaNo is for. It's for just kind of turning off a certain part of your brain and getting the words down on the page, because I know that as soon as I start to try to write that stuff, my brain's going to be thinking of everything that I haven't considered yet. It's almost like exercise. Like the more that I do it and the more that I think about it, the more the ideas are going to come to me. And even though it might be uncomfortable sitting there and really struggling to find the words and you know not having as good of a flow as I've had the last few days, putting in the work and putting in that time will make the rest of my time easier. Because that's pretty much how writing the rest of the book has gone for me. It's like, I'll be struggling to find words and I'll be struggling to come up with, you know, whatever it is that I want to write that day. And then because I've struggled with it, you know, suddenly I'll have an epiphany and I won't get those epiphanies unless I spend time in the story. For me, the thing that's worked the best has been, you know, spending more time in the world that I'm writing. Like the more time that I spend in it, the more comfortable in it I'll be and the more motivated I will be to continue writing the story but yeah enough chatting let's head to the coffee shop it is wednesday so i'm hoping it's not going to be too busy it's almost 11 o'clock which is usually like their busy time but fingers crossed i find a table and i can get some work done and we are on our way back from the coffee shop and holy shit that actually went amazingly i'm i'm still a little shocked at how well that went i sat down at around 11 o'clock it was almost 11 o'clock on the dot and i was putting in my word count into the NaNoWriMo website at 12 15. i was only there for an hour and 15 minutes and i exceeded my word count the final word count was 1805 words and i was just like flying the whole time and i was not expecting that to happen i was so worried going into the writing today because because I had no idea what I was gonna work on and I really was hesitant to start writing the second half of the book. So I opened a folder in Scrivener in my outline, created a new document, and I just went to town on it. <laughs> this was a scene that I've had planned for a really long time and so I've had a lot of time to think about it and kind of live in that scene in my head. And so getting to finally write that scene, the scene that I've been picturing in my head for so long, was kind of a surreal moment. It was almost like reading your favorite book and then finally getting to see the television or movie adaptation of it, except it was like picturing something in my head and then adapting it into the written word. So the scene that I was writing today was, it takes place very soon after the wedding scene. And it's kind of this moment where the two main characters, not only have they gotten married, but they're kind of, you know, starting to explore the power that they have together. They got married in secret. They weren't really supposed to get married. There were some people who were upset about these two characters getting together, but now is their time to really show the power that they have and to show you know, their, their new way of doing things in this world. And it's a really kind of gory scene. And it's a, you know, it's a kind of bloody scene because there's a character that's being executed, but it was so much fun to write. And I think doing this scene today and getting in the character's mindsets of where they're at now is really going to help me set the tone for the rest of the book. I definitely needed this win today, especially since I was so worried about you moving forward with the book so it felt really nice going in that worried and then having such a successful session and it definitely goes back to what i've been saying putting your ass in the seat and putting the hours in is going to pay off even if you go into something not having that motivation you can gain it as long as you stay there it's day five of camp nanowrimo i've got almost seven thousand words written so far and i'm feeling good about this event. I'm feeling really good about my story and I'm feeling good about life just in general. <laughs> but that is going to be it from me for today. Let me know how you're progressing in your Camp Nano goals in the comments down below. Like and subscribe if you have not already and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.